Megalodon, the most fearsome shark of all time. Megalodon, Carcharocles megalodon, is a member of an extinct species of megatooth shark, Otodontidae, that is considered to be the largest shark, as well as the largest fish that ever lived. Fossils attributed to Megalodon have been found dating back from the early Miocene epoch, which began 23.03 million years ago, to the end of the Pliocene epoch, 2.58 million years ago. The word Megalodon, a compound of Greek root words, means giant tooth. Fossil remains of Megalodon have been found in shallow tropical and temperate seas along the coastlines and continental shelf regions of all continents except Antarctica. During the early and middle parts of the Miocene epoch, large seaways separated North America from South America and Europe and Asia from Africa and the Middle East, which likely facilitated movement from one ocean basin to another. Throughout the Miocene, Megalodon distribution expanded from pockets located in the Caribbean and Mediterranean seas, in the Bay of Bengal, and along the coasts of California and Southern Australia, to encompass waters off the coasts of Northern Europe, South America, Southern Africa, New Zealand, and East Asia. Megalodon was the largest fish ever known, a designation based on discoveries of hundreds of fossil teeth and a handful of vertebrae. Tooth-shaped similarities between megalodon and great white sharks suggest that the two species may have been close relatives, and thus megalodon likely resembled that species in appearance. That is, as a bulky, torpedo-shaped fish with a conical snout, large pectoral and dorsal fins, and a strong crescent-shaped tail. Estimates of body length are calculated using the statistical relationship between the size of megalodon's fossil teeth and the teeth and body mass of modern white sharks and other living relatives. This data suggests that mature adult megalodons had a mean length of 33.5 feet, 10.2 meters, with the largest specimens measuring 58.7 feet, 17.9 meters long. Studies estimate that adult body mass ranged from roughly 66,000 pounds, 30 metric tons, to more than 143,000 pounds, 65 metric tons, with adult females being larger in both length and mass than adult males. Megalodon teeth are similar to those of modern white sharks in that they are triangular, serrated, and symmetrical. The largest extant megalodon tooth measures 6.9 inches, 17.8 centimeters in length, almost three times longer than those of the modern white sharks. In addition, Megalodon possessed a ferocious bite. Its bite diameter was 9.8 feet, 3 meters, several times larger than the bite diameter of average-sized white sharks. Megalodon is thought to have managed its body temperature in a manner similar to that of modern white sharks, in that it was not exclusively cold-blooded, like most fish are. In addition to being the world's largest fish, Megalodon may have been the largest marine predator that has ever lived. Megalodon was an apex predator, or top carnivore, in the marine environment it inhabited. It preyed upon fish, baleen whales, toothed whales, such as ancestral forms of modern sperm whales, dolphins and killer whales, serenians, such as dugongs and manatees, and seals. The young lightly sought after smaller prey, while adults hunted larger whales. Mature megalodons likely did not have any predators, but newly birthed and juvenile individuals may have been vulnerable to other large predatory sharks, whose ranges and nurseries are thought to have overlapped with those of megalodon from the end of the Miocene and throughout the Pliocene. With such a large body size, the megalodon required ample prey to fuel its body. Around 2.6 million years ago, around the time when the megalodon disappears from the fossil record, large mammals in the ocean were undergoing significant changes in response to a changing climate. At the beginning of the Miocene, marine animals were at the height of their diversity and abundance, especially the megalodon's favorite prey, small whales. 
But later during the Pliocene, there was a drop in ocean temperatures that likely contributed to the Megalodon's demise. For much of the Cenozoic era, a seaway existed between the Pacific and Caribbean that allowed for water and species to move between the two ocean basins. Pacific waters, filled with nutrients, easily flowed into the Atlantic and helped sustain high levels of diversity. That all changed when the Pacific tectonic plate butted up against the Caribbean and South American plates during the Pliocene and the Isthmus of Panama began to take shape. This tectonic collision caused volcanic activity and the formation of mountains that stretched from North to South America. As the Caribbean was cut off from the Pacific, the Atlantic Ocean became saltier and the Gulf Stream strengthened and propelled warm water from the equator up into the north. Today, the salty water of the Atlantic is a major engine for global ocean circulation. Ecosystems, too, reacted to the closure of the seaway. Cordoned off from the nutrient-rich waters of the Pacific, Caribbean species needed to adapt. The barrier led to the creation of pairs of related species, such as the Pacific Goliath grouper and the Atlantic Goliath grouper, but other species didn't fare as well. It is likely that the giant megalodon was unable to sustain its massive body size due to these changes and the loss of prey, and eventually went extinct. But could megalodon still exist? A popular idea is that megalodon may be hiding in a small population somewhere deep in the ocean that we haven't explored yet. Much like the recently discovered megamouth shark and the coelacanth, there is a very key difference, though. We know for an absolute fact the megalodon was a huge predator that needed to eat more than a ton of meat a day to survive. That food abundance is simply not present anywhere in the ocean's depths. And in case you're skeptical about the scientific community's motivation to track down living megalodons, an adult megalodon would have approximately 1.5 tons of fins. That would have been enough to make more than 70,000 bowls of shark fin soup, worth almost a million dollars on the black market. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.